In terms of the difference between the chronometer and the goniometer, the goniometer has a generic size, you'll notice. Uh, so the protractor part is the same size, whether you've got a PQ, NQ, and then it's basically just the insert on the side that changes the core size. So for that, um, because of that factor, you, you're looking at a cross-section through the clear clear plastic to get your alpha structural reading. Um, because because you, you've got a generic size tube, if you like, then basically it's not quite as accurate. So the that's why the the um, chronometer's purpose built in, in aluminium to the exact size of, of core that you're measuring. The the shims, you know, to take NQ2 down to NQ or NQ3, um, it, it's it's a couple of mils difference, but essentially um, if you're using NQ2, you've got a pretty exact um, size U of that tool for your alpha, uh, your protractor readings on the side. So with the difference being that on the plastic uh, gonio meter, you still have those same readings, but it's just centering that core through the protractor readings, but it's not as, it's basically not as accurate essentially. So um, that's why the chronometer is always, always the best tool to use.